What's up everybody, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your new build. So, you just built your first PC. You're good to go, right? Wrong. Now you have to set it up. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We're going to update the motherboard BIOS to the newest version. Then I'm going to take you through the installation of Windows 10. Then we're going to make sure that everything is updated. And then we're going to install the graphics drivers. All right, here we go. All right, first we're going to download the Windows 10. You want to go to the download page, link in the description. Download the Windows 10 installation media. Alright, it's gonna take its sweet time getting things ready. Alright, make sure you read every single word of this license. Accept. Make sure you got it on Create Installation Media. Make sure you set your language. Make sure it's on USB flash drive. Make sure you are saving it to the correct flash drive. All right, now it's gonna take a while to download depending on your connection speed. We're gonna fast forward a little bit here. All right, now that's finished. I'm just gonna check the flash drive, make sure everything looks good. Everything seems to be there. All right, next thing you wanna do is go ahead and get the newest BIOS version for your motherboard. The one I'm using here is a MSI B360 Bazooka. And you can just Google your motherboard. Go to the manufacturer's site, go to support, and it should have the BIOS there. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this newest one. Downloading and these files are usually pretty small and I'm gonna go ahead and extract it And since I still have the USB flash drive in there, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to it as well right. And that should be all you need to do on the separate PC. Now, as you can see, the current BIOS on this board is from over a year ago. I'm gonna go ahead and go to M Flash to enter the BIOS flash mode. Get the USB in there. There's my USB. There's my directory for the BIOS. Go ahead and click on that. Yes. And now we're updating. And this is at about a thousand times speed. Okay, now we're back in the BIOS, successfully updated to a much newer version. Now while you're in here, you wanna go ahead and 
turn on your XMP for your RAM. I'm gonna do that now. Even though this board can't utilize the speed of the RAM that I have in it, but that's fine. Maybe yours will do so. All right, go ahead and reboot. Now we still got that flash drive in there. So now it's gonna boot off of that to install Windows. All right, make sure these settings are where you want it. I speak English, read English. Next. Now you can also keep this flash drive and use it to repair your Windows installation whenever you need to. But we are going to install now. If you have a key, you can go ahead and enter it here. You don't have to have a key to use Windows. It just limits a little bit of the features if you don't have a key. Now you got all your different versions here. I'm gonna go with Windows 10 Pro. Okay, now make sure you read every word of this license. Very important. Go ahead and accept if you accept. Next. All right, this is a new install, so you're gonna wanna select custom because there's nothing to upgrade. All right, now this drive, I already have stuff on, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of that. So you can also use this to wipe a drive if you'd like. So I'm gonna delete all these partitions. All right, now if you got a brand new drive, this is what it's gonna look like. So go ahead and select that, hit next, and we are installing. And I'm gonna fast forward. And this usually takes about five minutes or so, depending on your hardware. All right, now we're gonna restart. Make sure you take the flash drive out while it's restarting. Fast forward, fast forward. Just a really long moment. This part usually takes about five minutes as well or less. All right, I'm in the US. I want a US keyboard. Don't want a second. Skip. You can go ahead and connect to the internet. It'll make things a little easier. Just don't connect to my internet. All right, we're connected, next. Just a long moment. Do, 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 do. Shoop, do, boop, boop, boop. Just another moment. All right, yeah, it's asking me this because I went with Pro. But I'm going to go ahead and set it up for personal use. Next. Now, if you have a Microsoft account, you can sign in with that. But this computer's for someone else. So, offline account. 
Yes, I want a limited experience. I'm gonna stick with the offline account. All right, you can put in your name here that you want for your account. Set a password, which I'm not gonna do right now. You can just click next. All right, privacy settings. I always turn all of this stuff off. Now Windows is still gonna collect your data no matter what you do. But I think this limits it a little bit. All that's off, except no, I don't want activity history. This is just more ways for Microsoft to collect your data. No, I don't want to use Cortana. It's more Microsoft data collection. All right, gonna fast forward this a bit. That's why the flashing is going pretty fast there. Almost there. Yay, we did it. All right, Windows is already installing drivers for my peripherals. I already installed the uh, Realtek audio drivers. It's a good thing about Windows 10 is you don't have to worry about installing too many drivers anymore. Used to, you would have the disk to come with your motherboard and all that stuff, but I mean, people don't even have disk drives anymore. All right, I'm gonna restart. Fast forward a little bit more. All right, first thing I usually do is get all the new updates for Windows. So you just go to settings, Windows update. I just fast forward through all that. Some of the updates can take a long time. All right, restart, fast forward. All right, when you get back in, go ahead and check Windows Update again, because there will usually be something else. Check. Yep, there's some more. All right, that installed. Just, you know, check a few more times just to be sure. All right, it looks like we're completely up to date on our windows. Now you want to go for your graphics card driver. I've got a RX 570 on this. So I want to get the AMD Radeon drivers. Just go to their website. Select my card. And if you got an NVIDIA card, you can just Google the NVIDIA drivers and probably download GeForce Experience is the easiest way. I'm gonna download the uh, AMD Radeon Adrenaline software for this system. Go ahead and open that. Install. Now while that's installing, I'm gonna go ahead and download another piece of software that I like. I'll leave a description for this, or I'll leave a link to this in the description. Hardware info. All 
right. Drivers are still installing. Go ahead and install this hardware info as well. Make sure you read this agreement. Accept. All right, go ahead and launch that. Now you can run run it with just sensors only, but this first time I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And it gives you all the info on your system here. All right, but I mostly just want the sensors right now. And I usually like to keep this running most of the time whenever the computer's on. All right, you don't have to do the factory reset whenever it's your first time installing, but whenever you are updating your graphics driver, I recommend doing a clean install where it completely uninstalls your current driver before it installs the new one. All right, now here on hardware info, I wanna watch the CPU package temp, and I just go ahead and add that to the system tray. And I'm going to do the same with the GPU thermal diode. Add that to tray. For easy monitoring. All right, now I gotta restart for the graphics driver. All right, now that is going to finish installing. And that's pretty much it. I mean, now you gotta add all your games, download all your different game launcher apps and all that headache. But just with this minimal stuff, you're good to go now. Okay, so now all you need to do is install your games and other software and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and smash that like button if this video helped you out. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already and stay safe and have fun.